welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Vivian. I do all kinds of videos on beauty, lifestyle, fashion, vlogs, all sorts of fun things. So if you're into all things lifestyle, beauty, and fashion, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on my future videos. We've got a little friend here today who is very inquisitive. Say hi. <laughs> hi, sweetie. Are you giving kisses today? Say hi to everybody. This is Elvis. If you're new, I got a comment on one of my um, past videos that didn't realize that I had French Bulldogs. I don't necessarily talk about them every time, but that is what my channel is named after is Frenchy Fun Finds. I do have two Bulldogs. Claude is sleeping in the other room, so let's not disturb him. Um, but anyway, so we'll see how long Elvis lasts here. Um, so I want to get started. This is my Trunk Club unboxing, review, try on, whatever you want to call it. I will be trying everything on right here next to me. So definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of each item. Or if you are a member of Trunk Club, let me know if you have ordered any of these items or have any of these items. Stop it. If you're new to Trunk Club and are interested in looking into more information about Trunk Club, I will have my referral link below. It will have all the information. If you hit the link, um, it'll tell you what it costs, how you can sign up, how easy it is, a free shipping, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you hit the uh, description box below and check out all the information. I'll have all my items listed down there too. If you're not a member of Trunk Club, you can order them right from my description box. And if I can't find the item, I will have something similar and sometimes even cheaper. So don't forget to check it all out. First, I wanted to start out with this beanie. I have never had a trunk club send me a hat before, so I'm kind of excited. Um, this is the Soul Society Knit Beanie. There's no size in gray flannel, and it's only $24.95, so basically $25 for a beanie. Now, I will write at the end of the video what I decided to keep and what I paid. I probably won't keep this, but we'll see. Um, the main reason is my mom and I make beanies. Um, we used to do it for sale and to do craft shows and things like that. We really don't do that much anymore. Um, we've really both just gotten very busy. My mom's gotten older, so we're not doing much of the craft shows anymore. Um, but I have a ton of beanies. I know how to make beanies. Um, I crochet, not knit, my mom knits. Um, so I don't necessarily need to purchase hats usually, unless it's something really unique or cool cables or whatever that maybe I'm not able to do. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. He's digging his way to China back there. Anyway, this is a super cute beanie. I love it. Um, and if I wasn't making beanies <laughs> um, or hats, then I would definitely be keeping this because I think the price is right. 25 bucks for a nice quality beanie. Um, and I think it looks really cute. I love the slouchy look. Let me know down below if you guys are into the slouchy beanie look still. I know a couple years ago it was like a mad fad um, and I'm still into it. So this is it right here. I love like just the heathered tweed, a little more gathered right here. It's not super tight though. It's very, very comfortable. So if you're looking for a gray beanie, I think this would go with everything. Um, brown, black, gray, cream coat. I think this would be gorgeous. Um, I think this is just a perfect beanie, but it is super slouchy. So um, it just kind of look like that. So I absolutely love this and the price is right. These are the... BP washed moto leggings in olive for $39. Obviously, the price is amazing. The style is amazing. They're super comfortable. You guys, I got these exact same leggings from Trunk Club about a year ago. And I will pull them out here. They're right here. So these are the ones I got. I'm not going to say they're the exact same. They have improved on them a little bit. But these are the ones I got before. And then these are the ones I just got. So as you can see, they're the exact same style. The only thing is these are a little bit nicer because they have the more wider band here at the waist, so they really help cinch everything in. The ones I got um, had a more like an elastic, just a shorter band. So um, love these. I wear these all the time in the winter, fall, spring. I love them. I love the color. These are a little bit more of a green olive. Mine are more of a little bit more of a gray olive. Um, so I think I can get a lot of use out of both of these colors. I think they're awesome. 
if you don't have these, you absolutely need them. Um, they're pretty thin, um, so I'm not going to say they're like warm or anything like that, but the style is absolutely awesome. Um, I think you can wear them, like I said, with a ton of different things. I love these with just like a black long sweater, a little black beanie, a black coat. I think it's super cute. Um, some moto boots. Uh, I think they're just so, so, so nice. Um, and again, I just think they're super comfortable and they're $39. So the price is absolutely right. I don't know you're going to have these for years and years and years because they are pretty thin. Um, so they might wear out if you are wearing them a lot, but for the $39 price tag, I think these are a must. Okay. Next up is this chambray shirt. Um, you'll see here next to me, I don't think it looks right on me. I think it might be a little too blousey, even though I do like things a lot, you know, bigger. Um, but I would have liked it just a hint longer and maybe not as wide, but I'm not really sure I'm into this type of cut here for this style of shirt. I think it looks a little sloppy, but let me know what you guys think. This is the Lou and Gray Chambray Pop On Shirt in Chambray Size Small for $59.50. Um, which is funny because the price tag says... 6950 so I'm sure they would give it to me for the 5950 um, I just don't know that this is exactly my style but I'm definitely needing a chambray top I would have preferred like a button-down chambray top so I'm definitely looking for a chambray top I just don't think this one hits the mark for me um, super soft though if you guys like the style I think it is a really nice top but if it's $69.50, truly, then I think it's overpriced. $40, $50, bucks, probably at the most, I think this is worth. But super soft. Um, I think it's a, it's a cute top. I just don't think it's for me. Next up is this coat. I love it. Um, this is it right here. You can't tell on camera, but it does have some sort of a pattern on it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see just right there, maybe. See how it has some square blocks it's like a boucle type coat by michael kors this is the oversized coat in black for 198 dollars if this was closer to 100 bucks i'd be keeping it no question but 200 dollars a little high even though i think it's gorgeous and if you don't think that price tag is too high for you and you really need a black coat this is gorgeous it's lined i think it fits beautifully it has two front pockets just um simple in the back see if you can kind of see that pattern um it's very minimal um you really can't see it but i think it's just a gorgeous coat super comfortable you could wear this with everything you could wear it to work you could wear it out love this if you're looking for a black coat i think it's awesome i just think it's a little too high priced for me right now because i do have some other black coats but love it okay next up is this a super cozy comfy a little free people sweater um this is the popcorn sweater in lavender for 108 dollars right off the bat i know i'm not keeping this um because just solely because of the price tag but second because it's super cropped and you'll see in the video here i don't know if you'll be able to tell because i am wearing black leggings with it um so it's kind of hard to tell where exactly it ends but my rear is fully exposed and this definitely would not work for me but if you are okay and younger maybe and love crop tops um this is gorgeous i just think it's a little overpriced and not really my style and i don't think it's really age appropriate for me love it i think it's super cute but just not my style um and the price tag is just a wee bit too high for a crop little sweater but it's super cute this a sweater from madewell honestly this is a really, really nice sweater, and I am looking for a gray sweater. I would have loved to keep this, but again, it's cropped. Um, this one is the wide sleeve pullover sweater in gray, size small, for $98. I don't think the price is too far off because this is made from alpaca and cotton, and I think some polyester blend, but um, there is a lot of alpaca in here. It is a little bit itchy um scratchy whatever you want to call it so for the crop reason and the fact that it's a little bit itchy i won't be keeping it but it's it is soft um but not like super soft because alpaca is a tends to be a little bit soft but it is a little itchy and you could kind of see the alpaca i don't know if you can see it there but there's a little bit of um like the fuzzy of the alpaca you can kind of see it in there but i think it's a great style i love the crew neck i love the little detail here with the v i think it's really pretty and it's not so cropped i think i could get away with wearing it with a nice like higher waisted black pant i think it would look really really nice but for the reason of the itchiness i like to be comfortable even though like i really like it i know it'll bother me so 
that's why I'm not going to be purchasing this, but I think it's a beautiful style. Um, I love Madewell. I think they have great clothes. So if you're looking for a really like kind of a little bit different um, gray sweater, a little bit of a wide sleeve there, I think this is really pretty. Well, this is by Hinge. This is the Teddy Bear Faux Fur Jacket in Ivory for $99. I don't think the price is bad. Um, there is a no button here. And the sleeves are a little bit long on me, so if I do keep this, I might get that altered. Um, I could fold it up, but then I don't know if I like that look. Um, this is super soft. I love the quality. You know, it doesn't look too manufactured, even though it's, you know, faux fur. Um, I really, really like it. It's got pockets on the side. It is a little bit cropped, but not crazy, and I think I could wear this a lot. A lot on the weekends, evenings. I think this would just be super cozy. I mean, just the softness of this is one reason alone to keep it. And I don't think the price is bad for a coat. So for $99, and I think it's good quality. Um, there's no lining, um, but I think this would keep you super warm. I think this would look so cute with some brown boots, some jeans, a little cream colored beanie. I think this would just be adorable. She also sent me this um, option for a cream coat, and I did love it when I pulled it out of the box. Um, but this is by Halogen. This is the Zip Front Teddy Coat in Ivory for $139. And honestly, I like the other one better. I do like the fact that this one is long and it has a zipper so you can close it up. I do love that. So those are two things positive. And I love the fact that it has two front pockets. It's really, really nice. I think this would look cute with, you know, leggings, a sweater, and you put this on with a little beanie or whatever. I think it'd be really, really cute coming fall and winter. Um, you can wear the neck up here a little bit. The only thing is I don't think I like the quality of this and it's not as soft as the other one. So this one looks like a little bit more fakey, more manufactured type of a fabric, which is fine. Um, it is lined, so it is a nice coat, but I think for $139, I could probably do better. So pretty sure if I'm going to keep one of the two options for the teddy bear coat, it's going to be the other one. But this is a good option if you want a longer coat that zips up. Okay, then she sent me two booties, which I did ask her to send me some beige booties. Beige booties. These are from Sam Edelman. And they're right here. Beautiful zipper detail right there. And just a small heel, which I love. These are the Petty Chelsea Boot by Sam Edelman in Putty, and the price is $99.95. I think the price is awesome, so for about $100, you get a really good, high-quality Sam Edelman boot. I'm leaning towards keeping these, but we will see. Um, I haven't worn them a lot around the house. I only put them on for about five minutes. I really want to wear them a little bit more to see the comfort level. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be there, um, but if I'm going to purchase them, I definitely want to make sure that they are comfortable, but they're just beautiful suede. So far, they feel comfortable. Um, and, and they're a nice booty. I think I could wear this with a lot of different things. Dresses, tights, um, jeans, uh, cuffed up jeans, I think would be really, really cute. So these are nice. Let me know what you guys think of these, or if you have them, let me know if you think they are comfortable. The last item are the second pair of beige booty options she sent me, and these are from Tom's. And these are the Kayla Wedge Booty in the Desert Taupe Suede, size seven, uh, for $89.95. I think the price is great. Um, here they are right here. Got your classic Tom's embroidery on the shoe right there. Um, I think they're super cute. I just don't think I want a lace up option. I just wanted a zipper option or a pull on option for a booty. That's really my only complaint about these. They are fairly comfortable. I don't mind the wedge. I don't think it's a high wedge. So I think these are super versatile, super cute. The price is right. So if you're looking for a lace up beige booty, I think these are awesome. And as you know, Tom's for every purchase, they do give away a free pair of shoes for someone in need. So it's a win-win with the Tom's um, booty. I think these are great, um, but I just didn't want a lace-up at this time. Okay, guys, that is my trunk club. I am giving this one a huge thumbs up. Let me know if you guys liked it too by giving me a thumbs up down below. I loved it. I think Mila did an awesome job with this trunk. Sent me a lot of cool things, a lot of fun, fall, winter things, which I had asked her for. So I am really, really pleased with her efforts. And again, at the end of the video, you will see what I decided to keep and what I paid for the items. So again, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys, bye.